Several nozzle types are available for different types of applications or project conditions, just like choosing the right tool from the toolbox. There are four things to consider when selecting the right nozzle for the job. Which nozzle can your pump support? What type of project will you be working on? What are the safety considerations? And is speed or water consumption more important to you? It is important to match your nozzle to the capabilities of your pump. First, you must understand how the nozzles are sized. The nozzle size or number and your pressure setting determine flow rate. For example, a number 5 nozzle will always flow 5 GPM at 4000 PSI. A number 6 nozzle will always flow 6 GPM at 4000 PSI, and so on. Looking at the chart, you will see that same number 6 nozzle flows 4.7 GPM when operating at 2500 PSI. Check the manufacturer's rating for your pump. For example, this manufacturer rates their pump at 4 GPM at 3000 PSI. Now match this up to the nozzle chart. The maximum nozzle size this pump can operate is a number 4.0. For potholing applications, we recommend using a rotating turbo or spinning nozzle like our ripsaw. A high impact zero degree stream rotates at an optimized speed to form an 18 degree cone shaped flow pattern that is ideal for potholing applications. For trenching applications, we recommend using a zero degree nozzle like our switchblade. One or more static streams combine to form a long linear flow pattern that is ideal for trenching applications. Are you digging in the presence of utilities? Using a smaller nozzle size with less flow and lowering pressure settings are critical safety precautions. Select the smallest nozzle size appropriate for the job. For a rotating nozzle, industry best practices recommend lowering the pressure to a maximum of 2500 PSI. Use the nozzle to wash down the utility, not to blast. Hydroflex does not recommend using zero-degree static or linear nozzles within 18 inches of utilities. It is important to understand how the nozzle size and flow rate will affect your productivity and how often you will have to empty your debris body. If digging speed is important, select a larger nozzle size. Consider, however, that you will need to empty your debris body and fill your water more often because of the amount of material you're moving and the amount of water it will take to do so. If you don't have easy access to water or need to go off-site to dump your debris body, then you may want to choose a smaller nozzle size. It may take longer to dig the same size hole, however, you will have to fill your water tank less often. If you have any questions about our nozzles, please contact your distributor.